Hello, I'm Dr. Sonia Rasmussen, and I'm here to answer your questions about COVID-19 vaccines and kids. Right now, you know that there's exciting news. There's three vaccines that have been authorized by the FDA through the emergency use authorization process. And one of them is available to kids down to age 16. The other two are available for people 18 years and older. The companies that have developed those vaccines are doing trials, they're doing clinical trials just like they did with adults because they want to make sure that the vaccine is safe and effective for children too. What they're doing is they're starting with older kids because older kids aren't that different from 18-year-olds uh, and then they're going to move down. So they're going to start with kids that are teenagers and then they'll move down to younger ages to make sure that it's safe in those age groups and that they have the dosing right. It's really hard to predict. We expect that, at least for older kids, that there could be some vaccines available before kids go back to school in the fall, but it's so hard to predict. I think it's gonna be longer than that for younger kids. For the elementary school age kids, I think it's gonna take longer than that. And some people are saying late 2021, maybe even early 2022. It's gonna depend on the studies, how the studies go, how many parents agree to have their children in those studies. Those are the things that are gonna be important and determine that timeline of when the vaccine's available. Well, the good news is those vaccines have been incredibly safe in adults. I think we expect it'll be safe in kids, but we need to do those studies to be sure. So that's why I think we all have to take some time, be patient, say, get those studies right. We wanna be sure that when the vaccine rolls out to kids that it's effective for them and it's safe. Right now, I know we're all sick of masks and we're all sick of washing our hands, but that's really the answer right now. Even with these new variants that we're hearing about, we know that those masks and the physical distance, the um, six feet distance from other people as much as possible, avoiding crowds and continuing to wash your hands, those are ways to keep us safe until we can all be vaccinated and we can get those numbers in our communities down.